Good morning team, my name is Major Jared Rosebaugh. I'm with the 4th ESC G4 and we'll be discussing field feeding. So the main difference between the, old, the current process and the process we're going to with the field feeding teams is that the field feeding was designed by unit um, support and now we're going to area support. So area support is where a field feeding team will uh, set up an area and they'll provide field feeding for all the units within a, a certain area. The area of responsibility for the 4th ESC uh, covers from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Little Rock, Arkansas to Norman, Oklahoma down to Sitton, Texas. Um, it starts off with the units conducting their annual training briefs. They should have identified all the food uh, service requests that they need to submit for their whole year. And at that point, USARC will send the request down to the ESCs uh, so they can establish uh, field feeding requests. Uh, the first question is, are the units available? Are they tasked with other missions uh, or are they available to do other things? The second one is going to be, uh, do they have any mandatory training requirements as well? The next one is really uh, for the commanders of the units. Uh, that really determines a lot of the food service requests and that's the readiness of the unit. This ring represents their 50 mile radius of where they provide area support. Combined, they can provide support for 700 people or they could separate and provide feeding for 300 people at two locations at one time. All right, now let's go through a real world example. Uh, NTC at Fort Irwin. The requesting uh, 45 personnel uh, from the platoon. Do you have any major training events that would prevent you from providing service? Um, do you foresee any issues uh, that you wouldn't be able to provide support for? Okay, at this time, start making coordination with the requesting unit. Um, uh, three MKTs to provide support for the month of August at NTC. But back at the San Antonio, uh, for the second platoon, they also still have another platoon, so they're still able to provide support. For our second example, the 914th Quartermaster Day has been assigned uh, a two-week mission up at Fort McCoy for War X 2401. Uh, the request has been for 15 personnel uh, and to provide food services for 600 people, so both uh, MKTs will be going to Fort McCoy. Our third example is a unit going to annual training. Uh, they're doing a three-day three annual training at Albuquerque, New Mexico. So they're only requesting support for 150 people for the three days. So you will only need one MKT uh, to provide support for that organization, which also leaves another MKT to provide for additional support if any other unit requests it. For our fourth example, we have a unit that is requesting support out of McAllen, Texas. A uh, unit that is requesting food service uh, is outside the 50 mile radius. Uh, so we can't support this, so we would send up a statement of non-availability up to the 377th and notify the unit that they'll have to find other means to provide uh, food service support. For our sample number five, there's another food service request for in Houston, Texas for the 914th Quartermaster Debt. Remember back, uh, the 914th is currently at Fort McCoy, uh, so they're not able to provide support uh, for this food service request. However, there's another field feeding uh, platoon that is there, and it's the 878 Quartermaster Company uh, platoon number three. So at this time, they will provide support for that organization uh, for their battle assembly at weekend. A food service request for the 916th uh, Quartermaster Debt in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, sir, we have two NKTs down for maintenance at this time. So therefore, they cannot provide support. Uh, for this food service request. Uh, there's no other food service uh, field feeding teams within the area, so at this point we would send up a statement of non-availability up to the 377th for them to find other means to support themselves. These are exciting times for the field feeding units. We get to engage the 92 GOFs to be able to perform their missions. Uh, it's gonna be better organized uh, throughout the area support and we'll be able to maintain continuity better when uh, we deploy for contingency operations in crisis management.